New this morning, the Florida Department of Health is barred from intimidating local television stations for airing a pro-abortion rights ad. A federal judge sided with stations after the state surgeon general threatened to bring some criminal charges against broadcasters. News Project reporter Chris Will joins us live this morning. So Chris, the judge does not mince words in this situation. Yeah, his decision reads as follows, and I'm going to quote it directly here. To keep it simple for the state of Florida, it's the First Amendment stupid. And the use of that final word is in reference to a case involving a 30-second ad by the group Floridians Protecting Freedom. That's the group behind Amendment 4, which Floridians will see on their November ballot. That ad features a brain cancer survivor named Caroline. If I did not end my pregnancy, I would lose my baby, I would lose my life, and my daughter would lose her mom. Stations across the state aired the ad, and the health department's general counsel responded by sending out cease and desist letters. Florida, Floridians Protecting Freedom then filed a lawsuit asking the court to keep the state from following through on threats to sue. The judge ruled that the health department's threats were viewpoint discrimination, adding that the group presented, quote, a substantial likelihood of proving an ongoing violation of its First Amendment rights through the threatened direct penalization of its political speech. And the judge's order is going to be valid through October 29th, which is just a week before Election Day. So for now, that ruling keeps the Surgeon General from going after any local stations that do air that Amendment 4 ad. Reporting live this morning, Chris Will, Channel 4, the local station.